Hey y'all, I'm Paul. And I'm Amber, this is Living the Do Life. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we're gonna share with you some fixes for three common problems with Airstreams that you might be having. Let's go. We're actually gonna do two, but I'm gonna mention three and there's a few more that is from this one man from No Lock Solutions. His name is Phil Enick. He's the owner of No Lock Solutions. He also goes by Rivet Solutions. Uh, he doesn't have a website. All he's got is a, a, an email, which you go through and you pay with PayPal. You email him, he send you a list of what he has. And uh, we found, I found this out through an Airstream rally. So it's good to go to Airstream rallies. You find out all, all kinds of stuff. And I didn't even know about this. And this is how I found this out. The first fix we're going to do is the give in the steps. See that give in it? This is how our box came. It's pretty well packaged. Now we're going to open it and see what we got. And this here is our step race. There's his email. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install. Now this part here goes against the frame and the floor. This part here goes on the bottom step. So that is the step brace, and they also have it in black too. The next fix we're gonna do is the door latch. I've been locked out once, and she's been locked out three times, and it's a common problem. When you close the door, a little knob goes over it and it locks itself. So they have a solution here, he does, and we're gonna install that. There is another company that does it, but I kind of like this one better, so I'm putting it on. Ordered these the same time, so it came in the same box. It even comes with directions and what you need to install it. So let's get with it. And also, I just realized that this kit also includes a washer kit to strengthen the handle. Because a lot of handles, they have problems with the handles on the Airstreams. You'll need a Phillips uh, 332nd Allen wrench, a 732nd drill bit, and a 18th drill bit. These are what the parts look like. First thing we're going to do is mark our hole we're going to drill for the latch. Next thing we're going to do is take the inside plate off. Next thing I'm going to do is drill the hole for the latch. I'm going to start off with an eighth inch bit. Then I'm going to come back with a 732nd screw bit and make it a little bigger.
Next thing we're going to do is mount the latch. issue that air streamers have is when the, the door handle comes off sometimes when they're uh, inside and they can't get out. So it also came with a little kit to fix that with and show you how to do that. came with two washers and a screw and it says use a 10 30 second tap which I do not have but the screws on the uh, door are self-tappers and they're the right size. So I'm going to use these, this here. This is the part that we need to tap out. All we're doing is making threads in there. Next thing we're going to do is put this big washer right over that and the washer with a small hole over that. Then we just put the screw in. Install it back on the door. There's the latch. Next thing I need to do is trim a little bit off there so with the latch on. It's always best to trim just a little bit at a time. That way you don't trim off too much. If necessary, you can trim this a little bit so the latch worked, but mine was fine so I didn't have to trim it off. So when you're parked, when we're parked, we always use the bottom lock. But when I'm traveling, I use both locks to ensure the door is good and fastened shut. So when I'm traveling, what I'll do is I'll put that down and lock it. When I'm not traveling, we never use the top lock anyway. We always use the deadbolt, so I'll lock it like that. That way, when you shut it, it's always working. In the previous video, we did a video on uh, AC vents, for the filters, where have to take four screws out of each filter and change them out they strip and they're 
it's just a hassle to clean them out, uh, taking it off to clean them, up, clean them up. So I did a video on how I cut the hole and put a commercial, I mean a residential filter in there. But this guy here had a kit, has a kit to change out the screws, like thumb screws. This comes with the tool and everything to put it in. It, I wish I would have known it before, but too late now. But we did good, and this is another alternative to those stripped out screws. I'm going to show you a list of stuff that he has right here. Like I said, he has a few other things on there, which I don't have. So check him out. Wonder Local. Recently did a video with Phil on there doing most of all his uh, solutions. So you might have checked them out too. And we'll leave a link below. We hope you like this video and that it is helpful to you um, as air streamers. We all have these common problems. And so it's nice to know the little fixes and we hope that it did help you and inspire you to fix those nuisance issues <laughs> that we all seem to have. Now, I found out about this guy from other air streamers in our club, so it's good to go to rallies and stuff and get more information. We hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, please subscribe to our channel. We would love to welcome you to our YouTube channel. Bye, everybody. Don't Oh, don't forget, live simply, dream big, and do life. Bye. Bye-bye.